Not yet, Succubus. All right, cool. We're good to go. So I'm going to try and go lightning fast through everything until finally settling on the new Vala. Uh, oh, yes. Gul'dan's Reign of Destruction. I remember. All right, so we'll check out Gul'dan. No changes yet, I think. No changes in all these. No, I don't think I don't think Reign of Destruction got changed. Guys, Butcher didn't get changed either. So I have a few games with Alarak already for people that want to see Alarak. They're gonna be on my YouTube very soon. I've got my YouTube manager working on that. Uh, YouTube.com slash follow Grubby. We're gonna have both Zarya and Alarak videos there. You can check that out if you missed it so far. Um, what else was I gonna check? Yeah, Sergeant Hammer. I, I don't think she got any other changes. Everything looks exactly the same. Yeah. So it's only the resistant which got changed. Yeah, we've got 32 seconds left. So we've got the uh, the new butcher skin, which is pretty cool, but he doesn't seem to have received any functional changes. We're gonna finally settle on Vala. Uh, I can finally try out Vampire Slayer. Cool. Uh, we've got 10 seconds left. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Zeratu got changed either, from what I saw. Well, let's just go with Vala. What about new skins? You just saw the Butcher one, the Butcher list. There's also um, there's a Kerrigan, no, a Kerrigan Terran Ghost skin. So it's Kerrigan, but she's like all blue and having like Terran pads on again and stuff. I don't know if Johanna got changes. There's there is a Johanna here, but that one is the same at least. Ah, we didn't get the Zerg Swarm map. I would have loved to get that one. I don't know when all this is coming out. Uh, I have not been privy to that information yet. <laughs> All right, so we've got a Caltrops quest, which uh, can reduce Vault cooldown. Vault now has a core functionality where she deals bonus damage on the next attack if she, with more hatred she's got. Uh, then the Hungering Arrow is kind of the same. And, okay, hello. And then the Hot Pursuit now helps with your mana. Mana regen is increased. I kind of like that one, actually. Let's see how mana hungry she is if I go for that. So now we are cheaper on mana because we're at full stacks. Yeah, we get a crit on our next... We did 169 on our auto attack because we had 10 stacks of hatred after Vault, which is a 50% uh, buff. Which is exactly what the ability said it would do, so <laughs> they uh, succeeded very well there. Oh, uh, Vault and Gages have gotten a new meaning. Finally, Vault and Gage actually has a purpose. I'm sure that Vala's win rate will go up very much. Now, if you've seen my... Uh, it's, it, the mana cost is still the same on everything. So it's really only that one that helps with the mana. If you've watched my stream two days ago, you'll you'll know how much I love having a Vala on my team these days. Now we're gonna vault and gauge. So we vault, bonus damage 182. Working as intended, and now we're dead. We should be dead, but we're not. How can I heal? Uh, use your W is heal. Okay. 
All right, uh, hitting heroes gives more hatred. Passively increase attack speed by 10%. That's pretty cool. And she's going to take the nuke. But keep in mind that you can zone people out of actually using the nuke, especially if they use it in an aggressive position. Reward after 100 basic attacks against heroes. Your hatred grants an additional 2% basic attack damage per stack. Oh, cool. Or bonus damage and bonus bounce on the on the arrow. So I just spent. Oh yeah, I have, I have mana regen at full hatred. It's not that my skills cost less mana; it's that I have mana regen. What's my move speed? It's twenty percent. Oh yeah, cool. That's a level one, twenty percent move speed. It makes Vala a true kiting queen. Uh, or hatred increases multi shot. Let's go for the this one. So we can do attack. We get attack speed increase ten percent, and every time we hit a hero, we gain bo more bonus damage. So that is currently at zero out of one hundred. And then at level seven, we can do healing. Oh, I really love the new Vala. That is going to be so awesome. We're going to get that one. Or we can, yeah, we're gonna get that one. Cool. So, when at 10 stacks, so it's all about having 10 stacks, return 25% of your basic attacks as healing. 55 on the vault crit. We got 55 healing from that, 37 for every other hit. Now we've got bonus uh, attack speed. I don't think I can quite beat a tower. It was close though. Maybe if I believed in myself, I could have. And our mana regen is at 7.68, so she still has mana issues in a very hot contest, like a very hotly contested objective. But, and she still got low health pool, but she can now heal herself both mana and HP wise. So if you just kind of... I got 19 stacks. If you just kind of like chill out and don't use spells, you'll be up to full life and mana in no time with this build. Very good for quick match. Oh, we chunked that Johanna, good, nice. I don't think we can take that one right now. And we're going to try the new Reign of Vengeance at level 10, which now has uh, separate charges. We can now have two charges of the stun. Uh, I feel like this breathes new life into... Um, uh, the Reign... Uh, yeah. I feel like there's new life into Vault Engage with Reign of Vengeance, which is kind of like the noob move for Vala usually. Wait, did he take Tougher Fish? Oops. I need some healing before I can engage. That's one wave, and there's my second wave. It still misses, which is uh, <laughs> traditional. Is that Tougher Fish? Yep, it took tougher fish. Welcome to Gamescom. Uh, Vala feels super fun right now. I'm gonna go get some. Uh, actually, I should go get that nuke already, man. Die denke jetzt im Stream auch was für Kacks basteln sind. Yeah, well, actually, they think you're an AI, but uh, it's not true. It's all real people. But they may have never played Heroes before, guys. You just don't know, so no judge. Not everyone is a casual tryhard like myself. That's not going to work on the new Vala. It's got 20% move speed increase at level 1. Feels good, man. Oh, 
Oh, juked. There we go. So we're at uh, 58 out of 100 basic attacks against heroes, and when we complete that quest, we gain, then and only then, we get 2% basic attack damage per stack, and that is in instead of, um, wait. So it's 8%, and then it'll be 10% instead. So instead of a 40% uh, bonus, we'll have a 50% bonus. Huh? Wait, I said that wrong, didn't I? Wait, each hatred sack increased basic attack damage by 8%? Up to 10? That's 80! And then it'll be 100 instead. So, 100, 108. Man, that's insane! That's a rework! 80%! It wasn't always like that, was it? So if we complete our quest, we're gonna have double damage instead of 80% bonus damage. So they nerfed her base... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They nerfed her base AA by a lot and made her completely hatred dependent. And then when you do have it, you get all these massive bonuses. I like that. <laughs> nice. BFG still thing. Now you can only have one max charge of nuke, so let's just cast it. Uh oh. That's a nuke. So, Vault refreshes hungering arrow. Let's go cast this nuke. Uh oh. No. Production value. So you can get grenades and it can reduce your multi shot cooldown. Or Vault Damage Bonds. Let's get that one. So, you get a 50% damage bonus if you Vault, generally, per Hatred stack. Like if you have full Hatred stacks, then it's 50. And now it can be 100%, so you can do a double damage crit. And if your attack kills the target, the mana cost and cooldown is refunded. That's amazing. Cool! So, mass Vault engages. Let's get full hatred before we do a vault in. Yeah, I'm, I'm super dead. But so is everyone else. Careful, there are nukes out there. Come on, Joanna could have killed Gul'dan. Yeah, you should try not to walk into that. How do you activate the nuke? Uh, hotkey F. It has a consistent damage throughout the entire progress of the map. Always 2750 doubled against uh, uh, in the center. So you do 5500 damage in the center of it. But you have to channel it. It has a half screen range of casting. And also... Uh, wait, is there music? My music is on, right? Yeah. Through here. Uh, and then finally, what can I get here? Manticore, which is a giant killer. Hatred stacks faster and lasts longer. Oh, I like that one. Let's try that. Wait, this is the German ad. German ad for Karazan. Next, Ramos is out. My quest talent is auto-attacking uh, enemy heroes, which will eventually give me bonus damage if I do that a hundred times. I need to do it 21 more times. Wait, she has the uh, unstoppable thing on, uh, on her shield. Cool. Oh. 
I live. It's the lifesteal. No, Lenara, go away, Lenara. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rainer! Uh, Rainer really hates Arthas, apparently. Read out what each talent does. Yeah, basic attacks now grant two stacks of hatred instead of one. And uh, it's a six second timeout for depreciation. Manticore is a triple against same enemy. Gives you a 5% uh, giant killer. But it must be three consecutive against the same target, so you must really focus fire. And Frost Shot is now only 25% slow instead of 40. It's still two seconds. It's moved up a tier, but it has incorporated com uh, composite arrows, the 20% former level one talent. Uh, don't use nukes or minion waves and heroes. Dodge the murkies. I completed my quest. Now I'm dead again. Wait, I've got a lot of... Ah, I got a lot of movement speed, but that didn't help me. Uh, let's look at the level 20s. Uh, Strafe also fires penetrating bolts in a line for 69 damage. And Strafe now has lifesteal. I mean, vengeance. That's new. Cool. Reduce the charge cooldown of Storm of Vengeance by five seconds per basic attack. Hatred. Each hatred stack also increases attack speed by 2%. Nice. So up to uh, 20%. Uh, while at 10 stacks of hatreds gain an additional 30, so you get 50% bonus attack speed at full stacks. That's insane. Or 40% range. Guys, vote. Ranker or lightweight bolts? Ranker or lightweight bolts? Vote, 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 vote. We only get one chance today. It's one or the other. This is madness. I see it's like 50-50. I'll get the range. Attack speed is like a, a facsimile of uh, Stim Drone, which, uh, you know, you can just Stim Drone Valor and it'll look the same, even though it's awesome. But the range, you never get to see that. Of course, we need full stack, so let's farm on the boss. Holy, this is insane! This Lunara's got it out for me, man. Turns out she still beats an auto attack Vala with Leaping Strike. Oh! <laughs> And we've got Orbital BFG, that's right, Orbital BFG at Gamescom. Yeah, Lenara... Lenara is countering me pretty hard, she's got the auto attack range and damage and leaping strike, and that one matters most of all. Say your teams to you, nukes against buildings, not heroes. Which is totally fine. 
40% range, so we've got 7.7 .7 range. Really good. What is it? Yeah, Vala still lacks burst, but not every character in the game needs to be burst, right? So, all right, why did I have Vault again? It's because of lethal shot. If your next attack after Vault kills the target, you get both a mana cost and a cooldown reduction. So Vala is a little bit like a sustained damage dealer. She's become the number one kite monster in the game. That's what Vala is now. Which is what people like about Vala too. Uh, actually not number one, that's probably still Greyman with uh, on the prowl. But she also becomes a little bit like Li Ming's arcane trait. Many vaults, many critical auto attacks. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, rip Sergeant Hammer. Oops. I'll just use Vault, like for Lunara. That mana regen is really helpful. Really good range. God, why? <laughs> Every time. Every time. It looks like the enemy has vision at all times of the nuke, you see? Man, it's, it's really loud uh, back there. Now, if I went for, uh, let's see, the, does this one still life steal? Okay, so you can go for triple Q build, by the way. Mana cost reduction and range increase. Bonus damage and bonus uh, bounce, and then life steal. 75%, by the way, not whatever it used to be, 25, 50. So you can be a duelist, which I'm not now. I'm a sustained damage dealer. But you can be a duelist with QQQ build. It will help with your mana, the range, extra bounce, extra damage, and life steal. There's no Q here, but there's repeating arrow to reset it. And I think that'll be a very powerful build as well. Right now, I kind of have the anti-warrior build. Anti-warrior, anti-melee assassin. Well, anti-warrior. And uh, the Q build is the duelist build. Just like before, but they really improved. I really like Vala now. So that is the build. And then what would you get at 16 with the Q build? Probably faster hatred stack or frost shot. Maybe frost shot. Yeah, you get frost shot. That's cool. Alright, here's the range against the building. And then at level 20 with the Q build, what would you get? Ah, Vala, finally you met your match. All right, there we go. That's what I like to see. Please, no. Please, no! I should have kited a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you can do a 600 plus crit with your vault. <laughs> Why did that have to happen? 
Jubilee yeah. Fishing. <laughs> ah, four nukes. Four warheads being deployed. In the meantime, Gamescom is going on. I'm, I'm sitting right. Oh, well, you can't see it now anymore. Got 10 seconds left on my death timer. I'm enjoying Gamescom. After this one, after this game, I'm going to go on to uh, cast the EU regional. So I'll do a little bit of a theater play, switcheroo, suddenly show up on another stream. I'm going to go get the nuke that is still up here. Vala good? Yeah, Vala good. Vala is going to get some really cool, interesting changes. I just want to go ahead and say thank you for tuning in already, guys. It's, uh, it's really fun to show you this new build here. <laughs> Sergeant Hammer value. I think they're doing some kind of competition now. There's uh, some plebs coming on stage now. Did they say enemy hero germinated? Like, is the enemy hero now German? I got you. Now, I didn't nuke the core, but it was a zoning for Lunara. So I'm life stealing 77 a pop. So I'm almost out healing the core. There is another nuke up there. Maybe I show you guys? Instead of ending the game right now. Because this is our final game. Nuke cast range is as follows. There's also a five second cooldown of using it after you find it. Uh, I don't think the center's on the core, so it won't kill the whole. GG! And that was Fala. Is this the best healing you can do? By the signs, onward. I wish I had a lighter. <laughs> Double cool. Cool, cool, cool.